Hi, I'm Nick Bonner for TreeStuff.com, and I'm here with Andy from Moje. Andy, thanks for joining us. Thank you. We've got a beautiful tree here, and we're going to play uh, ID the tree. So if I was looking at this, what would be one of the first things that I would notice or look at in order to figure out what kind of tree it is? Well, first of all, as you're coming up to this tree, you'd probably notice the distinctive uh, shape of the tree. It's got, uh, unlike a lot of our trees that have a uh, central leader that we're used to seeing, this one is common to have a, a multi-trunk system here. Uh, and of course the distinctive uh, spreading shape of it is, uh, is very distinctive and very cool to see. Next, we would probably pay attention uh, to the canopy and to the leaves. We might mistake it with a, a common tree that we see in our urban landscape environments, uh, Canadian redbud, but the leaves are a little bit smaller and they have a little bit pointier, what we call a, a kind of like a drip tape at the end where the water drips off. So these are a little bit more rounded and more distinctive in the sense that they're, uh, that they're, the leaves are smaller. And also, of course, the distinctive bark here, different from our Canadian red buds, uh, really kind of deeply furrowed or, or flaky almost. Um, and this is indicative of a mature tree. You might not see it on a younger tree. Nice. And do Canadian red buds get this big? Well, they won't get the, they, they can get uh, to a medium size height and they can sprawl a lot, uh, but, but not quite this size over here. Awesome. Well, uh, this sure is a beautiful tree. Uh, I'm dying to know, what is it? This is a Japanese native Katsura tree in the Cercidophyllum genus. Wow. Andy, thanks for sharing uh, all this information with us and uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you.